Topping off a week of robotic demonstrations, commercial companies showed off their weaponized robots to U.S. Army officers at Fort Benning in Georgia on Thursday. Robotics companies like Northrop Grumman, 5D Robotics, iRobot, and HDT Robotics demonstrated how well their machines could move over rough terrain, carry hundreds of pounds of supplies, and follow soldiers on the move. On Thursday, four of the companies demonstrated how their robots, equipped with M240 machine guns, could accurately fire at targets 150 meters away. Military leaders were looking to see what the technology is capable of and how it could be used on the battlefield. We think it will increase the standoff distance of soldiers actually from hostile fire. And we think with the possibility that we can save lives and it's a great force protection multiplier. The robotics demonstration also included several days of putting the robots through their paces on what the Army called an autonomy course. The robots maneuvered through a wooded area, a water course, and up a rocky hill. Many of the machines were able to act without being tethered to a human controller. They could follow a person through the course or be controlled by a handheld device or a laptop computer. Autonomy gives you the ability to get that machine where you need it and get it there without a lot of, uh, of task load on a soldier. They can concentrate on the environment around them, and that's how you stay alive. That's how you keep them from being harmed. Army officers said they are not currently using weaponized robots in the field, but are interested in being able to equip troops with the robots. A robot could be set up to fire machine guns, grenades, or even anti-tank missiles, giving the troops cover and heavy firepower. The robots also use thermal imaging systems to help soldiers identify enemy positions. While the robots could be equipped with weapons, Army leaders said they don't foresee the robots being able to act alone. For the foreseeable future, there will always be a soldier in the loop, making the ultimate decision about when to fire. With additional reporting in Fort Benning, Georgia, by Sharon Godden, this is Keith Shaw, ComputerWorld.com.